Oh my god. Okay, take it from the top, because we are. It was not good from the start. Hi, I'm Josh. And I'm Blake. Welcome to this week's HEB Flicks. The newest addition to the Marvel legacy is Black Panther. The film received a whopping 97% on Rotten Tomatoes, a 7.7 .7 out of 10 on IMDb, and 87% on Metacritic. It has blown the top off of the box office with sales reaching $218 million. The premiere made $192 million compared to the previous sales record for an opening weekend in February was $132.4 million for Deadpool. You know, I heard uh, Black Panther was really good. Yeah, like, I haven't gone out to see it yet, but I am willing to give it a try and see what all the hype's about. I think it's it's a big it's it's big for Marvel and Disney, you know, um, for cultural things, you know, like yeah, for showing, cultural things, showing showing the different the different people. Yeah, I think it's a great foot forward. I, I heard it was one of the best um, Marvel movies of this era, but I, I I haven't seen it, but that's just what I hear. Cobra Kai Never Die. Coming soon to YouTube Red, the sequel to the acclaimed 80s classic The Karate Kid, Cobra Kai, starring the original cast, Ralph Macchio as Daniel LaRusso, and William Zabka as Johnny Lawrence. Set 30 years after the events of 1984 All-Valley Karate Tournament, the series focuses on Johnny reopening the Cobra Kai dojo, which causes his rivalry with Daniel, the original Karate Kid, to be reignited. The Office is back, sort of. The modern-day cult classic TV show has been brought back to be syndicated into an Indian spinoff. The show will be a single 20-episode season which follows Jagdeep Chadha, who is the boss of the Wilkins Charla Paper Company in Faridabad, a town outside of New Delhi. BBC is happy to bring back the series, and so is the original creator Ricky Gervais. There is hope for this new adaptation, and although there will be no Steve Carell, it's still set to be a nice adaptation. No, I'm a big fan of The Office. Yeah, US. me too. I'm currently watching it every day. Are you? Every single day. I think it'll be good um, to branch off to see other people's. Um, yeah. I mean, the UK version I've never seen, but it's the original. Yeah, the I original. haven't seen it. I'm um, interested to see how they make Jog Deep a great character. <laughs> so. I agree. Yeah. Arg, matey! Pull up the anchor and set sail to the treasures beyond. An adventurous video game is afoot and is coming to Xbox One and Windows 10. Sea of Thieves is an online open world game where you can explore the vast seas and discover islands with hidden treasures. Join up with your friends to create your very own pirate crew and ship and take down other crews and ships. This action adventure game will be released on March 20th. Become the best pirate and conquer the world. Yeah, I think my, uh, my little nephew is just looking forward to this. He on just turned five, so... I, you know, Pirates, when I was a kid, I really enjoyed, you know, Pirates of the um, Caribbean and Jack yeah. Sparrow, and so I was a big fan of Pirates as a kid, I so I think... I and then I turned six. Yeah, I think these, th this game is catering more to the, to the children. Um, yeah. Rated E for everyone. Yeah. U.S. evangelist Billy Graham, one of the most influential preachers of the 20th century, has died at the age of 99. On February the 21st, Billy Graham passed away on the inside of his Montreat, North Carolina home, according to inside sources. Billy Graham has been nominated to be the most influential person four years in a row and has also been estimated to be seen by over 100 million. 1517 to Paris is about three Americans, while traveling in France, thwart a terrorist attack on a train bound for Paris. The three men, two of whom are servicemen, portray themselves in this movie. In 2015, terrorists took over a Paris train and were about to destroy it and kill everyone inside when Anthony Sadler, Oregon National Guardsman Alex Scarless, and U.S. Air Force Airman First Class Spencer Stone stepped in and saved over 500 people. Now, it's brave men like this in our country that make us who we are. Yes. I agree wholeheartedly. And this movie, if it's anything like, have you seen the movie, um, what's the movie, Argo? Where they, where yes. They, that's, it's kind of like this. Yes, where they rescue they the rescue hostages. And, yeah, and I, I'm, I'm looking forward to this movie. I am too. On February 27th, psychological illusionist Darren Brown makes his U.S. debut in the new Netflix original, The Push, a story that follows mankind's instinct to obey without question. In this documentary, Darren places an ordinary man in a room with 70 actors to see if even the most moral men can be manipulated to committing the horrendous act of murder. That's kind of scary, man. People, yeah, it's pretty spooky, actually. It's spooky, scary. Spooky dude. stuff right there. That is spooky. Very spooky. I mean, people, people in your brain telling you to do stuff. That's pretty spooky. Especially actors, man. Those witches out there. No, dude. We need some more of the Salem trials. Yes. And that's all we have for this week. And don't forget, only YouTube for wildfires. What?